We opened on Duval Street uh, about, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago and started painting. And we sort of did that for a number of years and really didn't develop it into anything until Jenny decided to stress all of us out by exploding it. They don't do this at home regularly, so here's like your fantasies come true. You don't, you're not gonna run into your boss or your neighbor. So except on our Facebook page. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was sick <laughs> for eight days. Key West, especially because it's safe and everybody's having a good time. People like the fantasy and being able to walk around with their clothes off and it's more or less accepted. Mm -hmm. And the lifestyle of Key West like really just goes really well with Fantasy Quest. I like seeing women confident. And it's great to see people in here of all shapes and forms naked. And they're happy, they're standing around here, nobody's hiding. Nobody's like shy. Everybody's like happy with their bodies yeah. and it's awesome. It's awesome to No matter see. what they look like, yeah. it's awesome. It is. So a lot of the guys that come in here are just like the girls. They love to show off. We're used to seeing crazy stuff. We've seen it all. People love like going out there and getting photographs and stopped every two seconds. If they can not walk a block, they're a lot happier. They're walking all around. People, I feel more comfortable in body paint, wearing, you know, hardly anything than being on a beach in just a bathing suit okay. with my regular skin exposed. I think for me it's pretty easy. I kind of like just being naked, so it's kind of a natural, easy feeling. Okay. I love the fact, and I think that it's that everybody here is unapologetically themselves, right? So you're in this environment where everybody, there are no judgments, everybody is just free, they're themselves, where in today's world we live by such a structure that here you're able to let that creativity in, I think, you know, people really enjoy the fact they can just be themselves without any judgments at all. I don't care. try to get the most beautiful ones for him. True. Because I do, they come in and I'm like, damn, you're so hot. You gotta get body painted by my husband. True story. It is. I got a good wife. <laughs> Okay.
Boobs come in every shape and size, and it's kind of funny. You know, Fantasy Fest is perfect for this because women of all shapes, all That's sizes, fun. take their clothes off when they come in here. You, you can get some with almost no boobs, to some with like the enormous. most gigantic boobs Ooh. that you've ever seen. They're like, and oh I my like God. seeing like the really perky, beautiful ones. Those are my favorite. So, We sort of try to pair somebody up with an artist that can more or less express mm -hmm. what they want. Because even though you could come in with exactly the same picture, we may not all paint it the same. So we all do it a little bit different. You try to say, oh, this is what you want, this artist would be great, and let them run with it. Or this is what you want, go with this artist that's like perfect for their style. Like they're gonna pull that off, it's gonna be badass. Sometimes they have very little idea, you know, they, they have a hard time imagining things. Um, so we, we kind of go around in a circle of like, okay, so what what are you, do you want to feel like a badass? Do you want to feel gorgeous? Do you want to have a combination of the both? Do you want to be scary? Like uh, trying to pull that information out of them and get their vibe right. to make sure that they get the look they really want. I think what Paradise Tattoo brings into the game is that we, we've been doing it for such a long time and we're really doing it because we love to do this. We love the whole the whole costumes, the, the people naked, the people happy. You know, we try to make it fun, we try to loosen them up, we might give them a, a, you know, a glass of wine or champagne or something like that. We get cherry bombs. We get a couple of cherry bombs in them and the next thing you know they're relaxed and they're having a blast. We enjoy it. Yeah. I get excited to see the same clients over and over. The new ones, I, I love yeah, meeting you make people. new friends. This year I had a VIP that the first day she was shaking. I was putting glitter on her, she was shaking, and by the fourth day, she was like running into the shop, like ready to do it. And she was already thinking of what to do next year. And next year's gonna be seven days because I wanna come back and do it, do the whole time. Some of these customers come up with their own ideas. Yeah. I mean, they have this sketched out. They come with a plan. Yeah. They know that, you know, they're bring they're stepping up their game, and I'm pretty sure they're in here watching other people saying and getting notes because they're only preparing for next year. Brian, every year he is planning. You know, he always stuff. comes up with really good costumes. Year after year after year, he is like always comes up with something good every single day of the week. You're like kind of looking forward to Brian coming in because he'll come up with something. You're like, man, that's good. 
Mandy did the kissing Mickey and Minnie on the boobs, which was pretty good. Mm -hmm. The creepy clown who was also like cut, cut like yes. really ripped. April likes to come in here and she does her titty thing and she loves that. She wears her little hat, she looks really cute and people love it and she has a great body for it. So Saturday becomes a blur around noon, which is when people start waking up from the party from Friday. It, it just becomes a blur. Saturday is Saturday madness. Be prepared. I love people coming in here and being like, give me wine, give me beer. Where's my cherry shots? Because Paradise Tattoo has been involved in Fantasy Fest for so many years, now we're official sponsors of Fantasy Fest. We have people that come back year after year and they're excited to see us. You know, you become, they're almost like a part of our family at this point. We always try to treat them really well and get them to the next level so that they're having fun and, you know, just enjoying themselves, which is really the only reason to be here. So. And I can't wait to see all my people again. I feel I missed them already. It was a good week. Yeah. Um, I, I try to make everybody feel happy and everybody walks into the door. And, the and as soon as they see her boobs, they're happy. They're happy and I'm happy. And her boobs make people happy. <laughs> they do. That's a good thing. They make me That's happy. That's a good thing. <laughs> the girls that got painted back there by Simon, those girls look like supermodels. You know, they look I didn't see gorgeous. That. Yes, you did, because I saw you take a picture with both of them, and you were like, ah! Oh. So yeah, those girls. You're such a shit shit. I wasn't gonna mention them. Oh, you didn't see them, huh? Was, oh, right? <laughs> Try not to mention those. I didn't know you were watching me. <laughs> oh, you, did, you even had to get an IV? This I had to get an IV. I threw up this year. It was, we had a lot of added stress, but we survived it, and I can't wait till next year.